All right, so here we are again with a heat core that has been curing for a couple of days. I shouldn't have to heat this heat core very many times because it has been curing for so long. Uh, I should have to heat it maybe three or four times and the procedure is just like before. So I'm going to go turn it on and watch for it to steam. There I see steam. All right. Turn it on. seeing it bubble. Turn it off. Time to turn it on. Seeing steam. And turn it off. Let's do it again. Okay, I'm seeing a bit of steam. Okay, long enough. All right, well, it's still 
was steaming a lot last time, and so I'm going to give it at least one more go, I think. Seems like the thing to do. So, turn it on. Okay, that looks like steam to me. Just for good measure, let's do it one more time. There we go. Got a whiff there. All right, good enough. Now I'm just going to let it cool and finish off the procedure. All I need to do now. is insert the pins into the Molex. Like so. Push it in until it snaps. All right. Do that for both of them. So the connector pins are in the Molex connector. And it comes with the other end, of course, the male end of the Molex connector and some red wire and pins for the other connector. The red wire, however, is clearly too short to go all the way to the electronics. So instead, what I'm going to use is some speaker wire. And I'll wire that up to the pins and get that in there. And this is flexible enough. It's, it's um, multi-strand wire and it's thick enough to handle the 2 amp load 
that is necessary for uh, powering the heat core. Uh, I've been told that this kind of stuff, this solid core um, wire is too, uh, too rigid and when it gets hot it will uh, tend to break especially since it's moving around and that won't be good at all. So um, not going to use not going to use this stuff that I have around for other electronics projects. I'm going to use uh, the speaker wire instead. So, but I'm going to hold off on that until it's time to wire up the uh, electronics. All right. Now it's time to move on to the hot end itself. Put the heat core on and uh, assemble the hot end.